celebrating the Eid in Baraka for the Muslim Plaza's day. They are happy here in Kostin. share with you guys so you can see how it is going on today here what happened what happened guys Yeah, guys, this is Boston, guys, this is Coston, guys. Uh, we are in the Coston. Causing everyday things to happen, guys. Yeah. Oh, you get me. Amen. 
We are good. We thank God for this beautiful day. Today is kind, outside is kind, uh, uh, the sun is shining, it's not cold. So, guys, my name is Chungang Janye. If you are new here on my YouTube channel, just subscribe and comment and share. Guys, today I want to share my story about my experience in South Africa. So, because some people wish to come here in South Africa, some uh, uh, other countries here in Africa, like uh, let's say like Tanzania, I'm from Tanzania, some Tanzania they wish to come here, some from Kenya they wish to come here, from Rwanda, from Burundi, from Congo, from Zambia, Mozambique, uh, Malawi, and um, yeah, all the countries in Africa people they wish to come here to South Africa so maybe they can for just for the better life so guys I want to tell to tell the people that they are they are planning to come here in South Africa before you come you must watch this video guys because the life here in South Africa is not easy like like how everyone thinking that South Africa life is just easy no guys life in south africa is not just easy guys life is hard like like other countries don't think that when you come to south africa you're gonna get money from from the, the dustbin or maybe you're gonna get the money from uh from from down no <laughs> you don't get money from down guys you work hard and sometimes you come here and not get a job. There's no job here in South Africa. As you can see, uh, 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 citizens, they're always fighting with the foreigners. They're taking their jobs. So before you come, guys, you must watch this video. I want to share my experience. I want to share my story about here in South Africa. Some people, they hear South Africa, it's not like, don't think they're coming, they're working. There's no job, guys. There's no job. Even, uh, 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 South Africa, they don't have a job. A lot of South Africans, they just sitting if, from morning to evening, no job. There's no job here. So that is why they're always fighting. And the uh, owner of the shops here in South Africa, they are foreigners. There's so many foreigners on the shops. Uh, we can say like uh, uh, Somalians, Indians, Pakistans, uh, Ethiopians, uh, Nigerians, uh, yeah, some they own for uh, shops, and those people they don't employ, uh, they don't uh, employ the South Africa because South Africa, if you want to employ South African, you need to pay that person a, a, a good amount. According to the government law, you have to pay a, a day, a general work. Uh, we are talking about general work. Like, uh, it, it, it must be like 
100 rand at least 100 rand a day but foreigners they don't pay that kind of money those uh, uh, the employ uh, the owners of the shops that don't pay that kind of money so they better improve the foreigners they coming they're just like they coming from Zimbabwe, Malawi or Mozambique maybe 50 rand or 60 rand a day so if you are if you are planning to come here to South Africa, guy, you must watch this video because life is not easy. Even some foreigners, they're living here, they've got no job, they've got nothing, some are sleeping outside. And or from morning to evening, they're standing by the road, no job to do. So you need to watch this video and before you come you need to do a research uh, don't just come but some people like in my country some people they they say their property uh, and then they come this side after they come this side they see life is difficult to to survive here and then just they are regret why they sell their property to come here to South Africa and the, the life in South Africa is no good and there's some people uh, some brothers that they are already decide they convince them to come while they see life is not good and then after that the person when the person come the life is not good that person begin to regret some day going and start the smoking drugs some others smoking uh, different type of drugs and then their life will become worse, worse, worse. So, this is my story. You need to do research before you come, guys. You need to do research because I'm here, I know everything. I know my, I know my fellow brothers from Africa, how they're struggling, how we're facing the Yeah, there's a lot of challenge here, guys. There's a lot of challenge. It's not just easy if you see somebody staying here for many years. Don't think it's enjoying. It's not enjoying, guys. It's not enjoying. Yeah, it's struggling. And sometimes some other brothers, they, st they stay here. Because the life is hard, they they don't even call at home. They don't even call their parents, their family. They stay up maybe five years, never call, and then that side they think maybe they, uh, they are they, they are the child. Maybe they, this side in South Africa is enjoying. <laughs> no, it's not easy, man. It's not easy. If you see your son never call for five years, you might. You must think what, what 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 is going on. Don't think. Don't put your mind and say uh, maybe it that side is enjoying because you don't know what what is passing through the side. Life is hard in South Africa, guys. Life is very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. It's very hard. I'm telling you. Even the. The time uh, also I was coming this day in South Africa. People they say, yeah, life is good in South Africa, life is good, life is good, life is good. Yeah, I say, hey, if I go to South Africa, hey, my life will be better. So I came here and uh, I see the life. Uh, at the time I came, I was young. I was very young. I was like, like 20, yeah, 20 something I was. So, till now, I'm here, I'm 15 years, I'm a grown person now. There's nothing still, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still pushing myself. I uh, hope myself that I'm gonna get it today or I'll get it tomorrow. And that's it. Uh, so, don't just come to South Africa and think life is easy. Life is, is not easy. Life is not easy, guys. Life is not easy. Yeah, there's some brothers we sometimes we, we donate money and they will send them home because the life they're living is not a good life. They are sleeping outside, they can't they can't help themselves because there's no job in South Africa. There's no job. Yeah. 
I don't say don't come. I don't say don't come. You can come. Yeah, you can come, but you must do research before you start selling your property. They think you are coming for the better life in South Africa. Yeah. You can do research, guys. I don't say don't come. You can come, but before you come, do your research. Yeah. Just, just uh, if you go to a neighbor by you are by in your your neighbor that is in South Africa, so you can research what that uh, that your neighbor have done day home, what he have he has done already that that side. So if you never see, never do nothing, don't. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever just say, hey, I'm going to South Africa because my friend is that side. No, <laughs> if you are doing something, my friend, just do the, the way you are. Just continue with your business, just continue with what you are doing. Don't just see, because this is the media, <laughs> he's lying to a lot of people. Facebook, Instagram, he is lying to a lot of people. Yeah. So when somebody's going, maybe he's got a chance to go there to a nice place, take a picture and then post on Facebook. It's gonna get your mind, you're gonna get mad because you see your friend always in somewhere nice, in some friend always. So, and then you begin selling your property, come here to South Africa. Guy, key, you're gonna be in a problem. You're gonna be in a problem. Do what you are doing there, or oh, unless you are coming to invest, like you got your own money, you are coming to invest, you do a business, open your business here. Yeah. Don't just come, like you are coming for the better life in South Africa. Life is not easy, it's not easy, yeah. So, guys, let me, uh, I'm gonna try to look one, some other people, so that you can share. All the some that can share the experience here in South Africa, yeah, guys. But in case, just subscribe to the channel so that I can always upload the video and see the life that people are passing through here in South Africa, yeah. So that is my experience, guys, yeah. Hello. Yeah, hey man, how's it? I'm fine and you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, what's your name? My name is Robin. Your name is Robin? Yeah. Uh, you from here for Tezabet or you yeah. from somewhere else? I'm from Port Elizabeth, why? Yeah, I'm asking you if yeah. maybe you are coming from here. Maybe you're coming from another province, oh. maybe Deben or other province. I'm, I'm born here in Port Elizabeth. Oh, you're born here in yeah, Port Elizabeth? I'm in school, uh -huh. yeah, but I don't have job. You don't have a job? Yeah. Uh, I take my CV, no job, everything. They like the one to be gangsters? No. The one yeah. to see so, Dachau. you know what? Yeah. I want I want to tell the people that they are planning to come to South Africa, maybe from Tanzania, Ghana, Nigeria, Malawi, Mozambique, Zimbabwe. I want to tell them to know that yeah. if you are coming to South Africa, there is no job. Yeah. Also, uh, uh, you come to South Africa, you're gonna only find Papa by South Africa. No other country, my brother. You are welcome here. Yeah, South Africa is there's a, no work here. Yeah, yeah South Africa is, 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 is a very beautiful country. Like country. Everybody wish to come African here. So, brother. everybody think when they come here, their life is gonna change. You understand? Yeah. They think their life is gonna change. But like me, my experience, I've been here for almost 15 years. So I know I know the life we are, that is going through here in South Africa. So I want you guys, as a citizen from South Africa, to tell the people that they are still planning to come here in South Africa. To tell them how how they live here in South Africa. Life is hard in South Africa. People lying to you. It's easy if you have everything surname, my brother. If your surname is Jacobs, you're not going to survive. If your surname is Thomas, no. But if your surname is Ganza, you can survive all the time. Uh, what, do you mean, what do you mean about the, 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 the surname? If it's Jacobs, you can't survive. If you are Ganja, you're going to survive. What's the, what's the difference between Black lives matter, my Ganja. Huh? Black lives matter. Yeah. Black lives matter. No. Yeah. Then no America, for then America, 
white men kill black men, dead people, they go there, they riot, how do you So every girl, black men kill white men, ah, it's gonna be war. It's gonna be war. So why life is like that, man, bro? Ah, it's not right that man. And then you get guys like Ramaphosa, me and what guys are free. That guy is very fucked up, that guy. He must step down, man. Because why? They say they're gonna give that, you know, that 350s. <laughs> that guy only put 20 rand by me, bro. <laughs> oh, you mean that that money from government that they're giving a, a, a kid or, or yeah, my bro, that money it don't even last your full month because it given to you in the middle of the month and then it must last you two months. How that money can you have three hundred and fifty rand? You yeah. know how much is the milk? The bread is almost twenty rand, my brother. And then you got three three thirty left, my bro. Full then, back pampers, three twenty. <laughs> and then where's the money? The money. The money. left, my brother. That guy think you must use for, ah. for 32 days or 28 days or 30 days you must use 350 rand. Oh, 350 rand. Yeah, but bro. let me tell you something. That's why the crime rate is high in this country. Let me tell you something. Because of Ramaphosa. You see, I want to tell you something. You see, like, like here in South Africa, it's better South Africa. We can get that 350. Because in the other country, like, like Tanzania or uh, some other countries in Malawi, they don't get anything from because the government. The people. They make their own food, they grow their food, they don't need that money because the lifestyle there is easy. The lifestyle See, that's easy. Yeah. The people they got job, they got government, from 8 to 8, government they got food to keep their mind busy, my bro. But, so but they don't also. need to think about money all the time. Bro. Why yeah, they don't give food Poverty is too much, poverty is too much, college is on its other too much. Then, you see these guys, so these Somalian people, they have its other business. Khaled, he make business next to his other, he's gonna break his other down, he's gonna send his brother to rob that place there. Khaled, my bro, why? He so you mean if the Khaled guy open the business, the Somalia they're gonna make a plan to come and break that shop because you are a citizen, you open the shop? Yeah. Okay. So okay, this okay, is yeah, so this this guy one job. This is the jitters between uh, South Africa and the foreigners. No, 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 no. They brother say as long as we smoke, we get high. So that is what matters. Me, I don't agree to that. Because once you get high, you lose focus, man. You lose focus. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true, man. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so what did uh, what did, what is the last word you can tell? You can tell them. Stay focused. Follow your dreams. Stay alive. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> Don't let Ramaphosa let you down. You must fight for your rights. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, because the world is against you, and God is for everyone. Yeah, it's true. Even that too, we are sitting together like we are brothers. But sometime in the year, we all fight together. And it's other also. But we're gonna be together like we are sitting now. You see, it's our life is no bro. Yeah, but then you get the nice colors and what what. These guys, they don't see them fighting. Because they are eating Ramaphosa's money. <laughs> 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 And then Ramaphosa <laughs> declined our, our trip of this, my bro. Because you see, we get 20 rand from Hollywood. And then he declined our trip of this. <laughs> that motherfucker. No, okay. it's true, that guy, my bro. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Thank you so much, last time. <laughs> Thank you so much for your interview. I hope you're going to enjoy this interview. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so, my Robin, yeah. so how, how old are you? Me, I'm 20 years old. You are 20 years old. So what, what do you think you to do in the future? What do you think you to do in the future? Mm. You want to go now? Time for bed. You don't have to Because you're still young. Who's going to play this? Who's going to yeah. I want to become intelligent, fortunate. You want to become intelligent? Fortunate, yeah. Okay. I want to be a fortunate one day. But 
I don't get job. So what talent you got? Dance. Dancing. Yeah, I can dance. Are you sure well. the people some is some people. some of your dance so that you can start your own channel and the, the people that they, they, they are watching you right now, they're gonna come to your channel and they start following you and they subscribe to your own YouTube channel. Oh, yes. huh? Where's the music? Okay, let me pause, let me pause. Yeah, so guys, yes, you can see uh, Robin. Robin was trying to show his uh, his talent. He's a dancer. Uh, soon, soon he's gonna open his YouTube channel so that you can follow. You can follow. You can follow his YouTube channel. See how he's dancing. Yeah, this is Robin, man. What one man? So this is the street that we are living here. This is the street of uh, Stimera in Kosi, guys. This is the street of Stimera.